Hey NRCS, how are you doing? Agri, how are you doing? Just bear with me for seconds. <laughs> uh, right. So if I put chat in that end. The joys of not having multiple screens anymore. Massey Lover, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not expecting to have many of you in this live stream, but I've got the dogs all day today and whatnot, so I've just decided to do this live instead of doing it as an episode. So it's just basically, I've just got home. I need to set up my joystick button box. So we have two joysticks here. So obviously left and right joysticks. So, and then all the buttons. So I need to set that up in my farming simulator uh, game. So I thought I may as well just live stream it. 5,000 cow farmer, bad news. What's up, mate? Anyway, I'm going to get on with the uh, video. So if you've got any questions about what the video is actually about, uh, you know, feel free to ask. Hey, Fee, how are you doing? See, I've got a chat over there, but I've got the webcam here, so you'll just have to bear with me. It's not perfect. Uh, he only has 499 cows. <laughs> Looking to get a PC myself for Christmas and do have any. Right. Anyway, I'm going to be record. I'm going to be live streaming actual farm, playing farm simulator on today. Uh, in about an hour or two, so I'm going to keep this as simple as possible and keep it just about the, the video in hand. Right, so for anyone starting out who's wanting to do a bit, uh, I'm tilt that a bit. Anyone that's starting out who's coming along to do the uh, the joystick setups, obviously. You're probably, when I say joystick, you guys are going to probably think of something along the lines of this. Right, which is your traditional joystick. Well, I don't have that anymore. I'm not going to use it anymore because it's big, it's bulky, and to be honest, it's not that good compared to what I've got now. So I've got this now, which is a full button box uh, with all the buttons, I think the 32 buttons. And then we've got a left joystick and a right joystick. Right, so... I'm going to show you how to map it. So you'll open up your options, right? Which is in here in the menu. Uh, <laughs> so you'll open up your options and then as you can see, you've got action. So this is the action that the, the button will do. You've got key one, key two, mouse and gamepad, right? We want nothing to do with key one, key two and mouse. You can leave them alone. Do not delete them. Do not touch them. Don't do anything with them. If you're just wanting to set a joystick and a wheel up. You do not need these first three columns. Just leave them alone. All you need to do is the gamepad. And I've heard a lot of people who've got Logitech G27s, G29s, Thrustmaster wheels. And they all say that the view keeps turning around or whatever. The first and most important thing you need to do is you need to go down this list on the gamepad section and delete all the functions, right? It's as simple as that. So that's all you've got to do. So you go down this list and delete all the functions. It doesn't make it easy when my keyboard's miles away from me because the way I've got it set up for recording. All right. So we go right down this list. All this is all I had set up for uh, running my my other joystick, which, as I say, I'm not going to be using anymore now. Bear in mind, this does take a while. So where are we at on chat? While I'm uh, going to be deleting these, uh, when he says hi, Fiona, tell him I said hi. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Fiona's misters, how are you doing, Fiona? I missed you too. Matt, can you send me that joystick? Also, is the giveaway button box like yours? If so, want to win. Uh, yeah, it's it, the giveaway is like mine, apart from it doesn't have the joysticks on it. 
the, the giveaway box is purely just a button box, uh, which is all you need to get started. Uh, we might be able to sort something out for a bigger giveaway, I don't know, later on in the future. Right. Get rid of all these. So I said before, I'd, I've done a video on this, and I said that I wouldn't do a full video on it because I didn't want to delete all my buttons. However, I have to delete them all now, so... <laughs> So we'll get rid of all these. As you can see, there's a lot you don't use. <laughs> there's an awful lot you don't use. So many buttons. I did warn people that it would be a long video if you want to know exactly how to set it up. So, while I'm deleting these, if you're watching this back later on, you're more than welcome to skip through about four or five minutes because this will take a while to delete, especially when my keyboard's so far away. Right, I'll pull this over here for now. Right, how's everyone in chat? Hi, Mark, watching from work. Hi, right, Sean. I say, this isn't about me talking to you guys in this video, it's purely about showing you how to set a joystick up. I'll be back later to join in a bit more with chat, so I apologise if I'm being a bit rude. But uh, it's a video I've been wanting to do for a while, and I can't start recording farm sim uh, until I've got my new button box set up, so this video needs to be done. Normally I would just do it, but because everyone's been asking for a video... Uh, <laughs> I thought, no, we'll just get it done. See, the problem you've got, right, if you just replace the functions in the gamepad section, for some reason, they don't replace properly. So you'll go into your game and your character will start looking up to the ceiling or you'll get an attractive and your low loader will start just trying to put the, the front loader through the floor. It's just, you need to, if you're going to map any joysticks, wheels, anything like that, just get rid of all of this and start again. My God, so much stuff. Right, so we've got the walk forward, the walk backwards, that can go. The look up and down can go. However, the brake accelerate, stay left and right can stay. because I'm using the same wheel. Right, these are the main important things to go. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, tell him I broke my arm. Stupid cow, sometimes they are. <laughs> yeah, they're always stupid, are they not? Yeah, I, I am going to be rude in this video, but as I say, the video serves more of a purpose of later on so it's no different than doing an episode apart from i was going to do an episode on it but i've just got a lot on so i just thought nah this is quicker we'll just uh we'll live stream it end the live stream and i'll be back with some farming content right so we're here this is it so this is empty apart from my steam wheel inputs because i'm going to be keeping them so i work your way from the top so it, it, I mean it is literally just as simple as that so obviously don't forget even when you keybind this gamepad section your keyboard will still work as normal so even if you get it wrong you can still drive in that with your keyboard There's, you, you lose nothing so we're going to scroll down so you've got enter a vehicle obviously which is quite important so we'll keep that to my wheel the only thing I'm going to say is I've had people asking 
Uh, I've had a lot of people asking what uh, what functions to use or what buttons. I can't tell you that. You've got to keep it to what you can remember. So how I would normally do functions is I normally do about 10. So I'll map 10 things in here and then I'll go and farm for... Uh, yeah, I would then go and farm for maybe an hour or two and then come back to this. So activate, zoom, we don't need any of that. Open menu, attach tool. So basically, if you've played on the keyboard, right, what I'll suggest to you is if you scroll down so you know E is activate a, a vehicle, so uh, act, uh, enter a vehicle, so you know you need that quite a lot. Uh, and then you, your next one is Q, which is attach. So you, you, you attach a tool all the time. Uh, right, okay, that's not working. Uh, right, so we'll go, we'll go the top line for that. Right, so attach a tool. And we'll go select the tool. Uh, toggle worker. We'll have you. Honk your horn. I would normally have that on my wheel, but... For whatever reason. I don't know if it's because I've changed my wheel halfway through. Opening the farm sim. That possibly could be it, like... But we'll sort that out later. So, honk your horn. We'll keep to that. You've got start and stop engine, which I've actually got a start and stop engine button. So that's easy. Uh, dump, which is I. So I'll keep this row here for dumping. Uh, toggle, light. I'll tell you what. We'll do the dumping row on that one. And we'll have... Oh no, that's light in it, right. We'll do the dumping row on that row, and then we'll do uh, toggle lights. Yeah, we'll do toggle lights on that one. Tip size, not really. Turning signal. I'll put them in after, because I, I, I want them on my wheel, and for whatever reason, my wheel's not working. Uh, lol went to high school. Where are we at here? <laughs> right. Anyway, if you if you're new to chat, again, I'm not ignoring anybody. It's just this is meant to be more of an episode than uh, than anything. For whatever reason, it won't have my wheel in it. So what we'll do is we'll save that. I think I know why, but we'll go and double check. Uh, anyone else in the UK? This is called the day. Ah, see, I'm in the UK, and it, well, I'm uh, I'm in Glasgow, and it's not called at all for myself. Not at all. I'm just going to double check. That's fine. That's fine, all my buttons work. So, I'll just shut that down and I'll just reopen it. Uh, <laughs> well, I wanted to map in my wheel as well. And uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to let me. So, I thought I would jump back in. And sort it out. Right, so that's still empty. Which is fine. So we've got... got toggle, toggle beacon lights, which we want on that one. We've got unfashioned tension belts, which I want. 
turn signal left and right which I want if it's gonna let me there we go the wheels working now uh, so what I'll do is I'll change the honk button to that one which is perfect uh, these are quite important if you can leave a row of buttons for these so you've got your lower tool and uh, so I've left my top row for this so you've got your lower tool which I'm going to put on there and then you've got your tool function 1 and I've left the whole top row of the button box for this because you use these all the time it's amazing how many buttons one person needs I tell you that so you've got toggle pipe which I'm going to put on the wheel just because it's an, it's an easier thing uh, toggle cover which we'll have on here uh, toggle straw which we need which I'll put on that one uh, change driving that dump dump on ground I know I want on that one Change driving next song, don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Hazard light. We'll go on that one. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll keep that on there. No, uh, aye, that one. Idiot. Uh, we've got toggle light, so we don't need any of that. Low lift all tools, that's not really important. Add some I don't use. Uh, doors open close doors don't need any of that because I'll still be using the standard keyboard stuff GPS not needed at the moment uh, gearbox up and down so the up and down I don't use gearbox reverse I do use alright so I've got reverse Which is that? And then uh, five and six, and that one as well. All right, all the engine limiter and everything I don't use personally, so. Uh, none of this, none of this, ultimate bail size, don't need any of that. Don't forget, I'm putting in the basics so you can come back and put in any of these that you want. I'm just activating the basics only at the moment. So enough where you can get in a field, activate your cedar, empty your cedar, you know, j just the, the main things that you would normally use. All of the rest of it I'll put in at another time or you'll be driving something and say oh I need a button to open my door and you'll go and put a button in for opening your door. Right, so down to the driving stuff, we've got the driving activated. So the next one will be lift and lower loader arm which is this one. So you literally click on it, press it down, that's it. So... Uh, don't forget with these right if you go in your loader now and down is up and up is down and you want it the other way just click on the lower or loader arm and press down and it'll swap the axes around so then we want extend the arm which is that one we'll lift loader tool which is tilting it tilting the loader tool up and down and you want open front loader tool so we'll put that on that one and that's it so that'll be our loader should be working fine the tool axis 5 4 5 and 6 you just don't need so the crane arm you do need so you want rotate rotate crane so this is if you're doing logging so we want that on that and we want lift loader arm which is that one uh, lift crane arm 2 which is that one extend crane arm which I'll put on here Why don't you want that? Alright. 
see the way I've got it is this switch here I can switch this up right and then uh, so if I switch this button up I can use this joystick again so you can see I used this joystick previously and it says axis 8 plus and then it's got a one by the side of it and then I've used it again with the button and it's got axis 8 plus 25 so I can use this joystick twice you see so open crane tool watch this for a minute uh, where are we are yeah Oh yeah, yeah. Right, so then we've got rotate crane tool right and left. This is where it starts to get complicated, you see. <laughs> uh, and then you've got lift crane tool. See, the axis threes I don't need. It's not something I'm desperate for at the moment. Uh, open and to right this is another one we need open clutch so this is where you use your foot pedal to open it open and close clutch uh, and then the hand throttle I personally don't use uh, draw bar and that's it so we'll jump in and go and check it out uh, and make sure whether that everything works as I say if you need to rotate it so the joysticks do the opposite of what you wanted it to do then we can do that as well but it should it should work absolutely fine uh we'll go and jump in here keep it simple don't forget these button boxes here will be for sale as soon as i've got some pricing and some information on them i will let you know straight away What you do for a living? Uh, Robert, how you doing? I'm good, mate, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, if you go through the Facebook group, you'll be able to find out pricings and things. I mean, the, this joystick, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so if we go and jump in this here, I don't think the gearbox mod's on, so I'll not be able to show the gearbox working, but... Uh, where have we got here? Alright. So we should have. What have I done there? I've done something different there. So the front loader tool is working. As you can see. So that works fine. We've got a loader up and down. Obviously you can go slow or fast. We've got the engine start and stop button that works. And then we should have uh, lights. So as you can see that I mean that's everything working. I'll flick through. So if you see here, so if we turn that on, we'll drive that forward. So we should have a unlock an unfold button which is that one there see the four the four buttons here that it says tool operation one two three to four it doesn't actually tell you what each button does so you've just got to press them and make sure you know what you're doing so and then we put the uh, we'll put the lower button did I put it on there? Yeah, I put it on there, didn't I? Yeah. So, obviously you can just fold that away again. So that, I mean, that's as simple as it is, to be fair. It, it's, not, it's not very uh, difficult at all to set up. So, again, the, bi the biggest hardship you've got is remembering what all the buttons do. But my advice to anybody who is watching this for the first time and you've got your joystick there or your button box or whatever it is just please put on five buttons and then go and farm for half an hour put another five buttons in go and five farm for half an hour once your buttons are set up even if it takes you two weeks to get them set as long as you remember what they do 
and uh, once you've gotten set up that's it my old joystick has been set up for over a year nearly near two year and i've unplugged it from the computer plugged it back in and now the game never forgets it so once you've put all the time into setting it up that's it so it's as it's as simple as that really i mean again it, it is really handy so just so i can show you again i'll pull this tractor forward a bit and that's the joystick work and the tool there you see And as I say, you can't you can be quite precise for these. I mean, I've got my button box a bit further away from me than what I normally have, just just so the camera can see it. But that's as simple as that. If I flick that button, I'm pretty sure it, that also activates the door. Yeah, it does. <laughs> see? So that activates that door. I don't know what that one does. No, it doesn't do any. Nothing yet. Yeah. So again. That's pretty much, that's our beacons, that's our toggles, that's all you need to know. So other than that guys, I will be back uh, later on today. Really apologise, this wasn't really a proper live stream, this was purely just an episode to help anyone out that needs help with a joystick. So I'll be back in probably about half an hour, 40 minutes for a 2-3 hour live stream. Uh, and we'll be doing 2 or 3 live streams today just to try and make up for me not being on previously uh, but i'll talk to you guys about that later on and i will see you all in about an hour so thanks again for stopping by make sure you check out the other content in the channel and if you have any questions leave it in the comments and i will answer you i just want people to be able to get set up on the joystick front and this is what this video is about so please share the video to any of your friends that have got joysticks wheels and they're struggling because it really isn't hard this this is it that's all you do it's as simple as that uh, just deleting that gamepad section is really important. That's where everyone goes wrong. So I thought I would let everyone know. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, guys. Take care.